Hey guys, another video here. We're starting chapter four, section six in our book if you're in our class. And the big essential question of this video is how can I predict the next number in a sequence? So we are gonna get into something called a sequence, but truly in math, in our class, we've already been doing sequences. So it's important that you know what that word means. So what is a sequence? Well, let's write that down as a main idea. To be honest, a sequence is just a list of numbers that's put in order. So I'm writing down as my definition, it's an ordered list of numbers. And it can be super simple. It could be as simple as one, two, three, four. That's a list of numbers. It's in order. It's a sequence. And our job is to be able to study that sequence. We want to do things like find the next uh, number that comes in the pattern or write an equation for it, maybe graph it. Sound familiar? So that's kind of what we're going to be up to uh, in this next section of our book. So let's try some problems. And before we do, this is probably important to write down. Each number in that sequence is called a term. That's what we call it is a term. So each number is called a term. So the one is a term, two is a term, three is a term, and four is a term. And I'm gonna be using that word a little bit, so I wanna make sure you feel comfortable with it. Another thing I'm gonna be using is a notation called A sub N. It looks like this. It's A with a little N down low. A sub N is just like a notation that we use for sequences. It's another way of writing an equation. I'm gonna show you in some examples how I use it, but I want you to be able to like say it out loud, A sub N, because it sounds weird when you first learn how to say it and then it kind of becomes natural. Um, and I'm just gonna write as a note here that this is the same, this is a name for a sequence. That's all it is, is notation for a sequence. So um, let's try some problems, let's do some examples. And, oh, I wanted to show you this too before we do an example. We have sequences in our real world everywhere. Everything we do um, often involves a sequence, to be honest. I like this picture of the skier going from his jump to his landing. Um, if any of you guys are skiers, I wish this was me in the picture. It's, it's not. I currently have a broken leg. You can see my crutches in the background here. Um, but this skier, when he takes off, launches, and does his trick in the air, there's a whole sequence to that trick, and he's got to practice that sequence a lot to get it down. I'm sure he's done it a lot of times, maybe practiced on a trampoline, maybe uh, has practiced on the hill over and over again. Because he wants to get that trick perfect, he's got to learn the sequence of his trick. Uh, here's another kind of cool picture, if you can see it. It's a volleyball player. Uh, he's going to spike the ball, but it, there's a process to it. He's got to see the ball, look up. He's got to pull his arm back. He's got to start his jump. He's got to follow through with his hand, and then he's got to land back on the sand. And that's his sequence. And athletes really practice these sequences over and over and over again to get good at their sport because they want it to be completely natural when they're in the game or when they're competing. Here's another sequence of a motorbike doing a jump. This guy's going off a ramp, doing a flip in the air, and then landing on top of that hillside. And again, it's a sequence. He probably practiced that a lot of times. You can see in the picture in the background, he's got multiple ramps that he's probably done some experimenting with. Okay, so now we'll get into our examples. Let's try some problems. So here's how we're going to start. First problem, I'm gonna tell you what a sub n is. So here's an equation for a sequence. a sub n equals two n plus one. There's our equation, two n plus one. Here's my directions. What is a sub one? a sub two, a sub three, a sub four, and a sub five. What are those terms? So our job is to f find those first five terms in the sequence, those first five numbers that'll be in the list. And it's gonna be pretty easy to do. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna write out a one, a two, a three, a four, and a five. And for each of those, we're gonna replace the equation with the n with the number. So instead of two n plus one, I'll do two times one plus one. Or I'll do two times two plus one. Two times three plus one. Two times four plus one. And two times five plus one. You can see the pattern. And then the math is easy. We just gotta multiply and add. That's not something we're gonna struggle with. So the first one there, two times one is just two. Plus one is three. Two times two is four. Plus one is five. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 1 is 7. 2 times 4 is 8, 
plus 1 is 9. 2 times 5 is 10, plus 1 is 11. So there it is. There's our sequence. 3, 5, 7, 9, 11. We got our numbers. That's our a sub 1, a sub 2, a sub 3, a sub 4, and a sub 5. So we've got the, all those values. Okay, so let's look at this type of problem another way. We're going to look at the sequence first. Let a sub n equal 2, 4, 6. Now I'm using some new notation here. I uh, put a brace around this list of numbers. 2, 4, 6 is our sequence, and we often use this. It looks like parentheses, but you'll see it kind of goes out and then in. That's a, called a brace, and usually with sequences, we like to put a brace around them. And my question is, is what is a sub 2? Well, in this problem, I actually don't know what the equation is for a sub n. Like, I don't have an equation like we did in the last example, but it doesn't really matter because I already have the list of numbers. I already know the first term is a sub 1, and the second term is a sub 2, and the third term is a sub 3. So answering my question, what is a2? Well, that's going to be pretty easy. It looks like it's 4. a sub 2 equals 4. So we don't have to have that equation. The equation might be nice if I asked you what a sub 100 is, because you might not want to make your list a sequence all the way out to the 100th term. That might be a lot of work, but you don't have to have it. Let's look at this. Let's look at an example three, something a little different here. Let's let a sub n equal n squared. And I'm going to use a brace. N okay, here's my question. List the first four terms in the sequence. List the first four terms in the sequence. That means what's a1, a2, a3, and a4. So we're going to make a list. n squared is our equation, so that means pretty easy math here. We're going to do 1 squared, 2 squared, 3 squared, and 4 squared. 1 squared, don't say it's 2. It's 1 times 1 is 1. Some people like to say 2 on, that, on accident. 2 squared, 2 times 2 is 4. 3 squared, 3 times 3 is 9. 4 squared, 4 times 4 is 16. There's our sequence. 1, 4, 9, 16. But look how I'm going to write this. The question said to list the first four terms. So I'm going to list it. 1, 4, 9, 16 with commas in between. And brace around it. I'm going to put some braces on it. So 1, 4, 9, 16. That's my answer. I'll circle that. That's the solution to this problem. Okay, you've got three examples now, so I think you should try. Here's your you try problem. List the first three terms in the sequence. And I'm going to give you a little bit more of a complicated sequence to kind of challenge you. a sub n equals, brace, 2n squared over n. There's your equation, 2n squared over n. Your job is to find the first three terms. So this is the part of the video where you click the pause button, you shut me off for a minute, and you see if you can do this by yourself. It's a check for understanding. Are you getting this? So hit that pause button, give it your best shot, and then we'll see if you got it. Okay, all right, let's check some answers. Hopefully you're unclicking the pause button, you've already done your work, and now you're ready to see if you did it correctly. So find the first three terms. That means we want a 1, 2, and 3. So a sub 1 is going to look like this. It's going to be 2 times 1 squared over 1. a sub 2 is going to be 2 times 2 squared over 2 a sub 3 is going to be 2 times 3 squared over 3. And then we just got to do the math carefully. So let's do the first one up there. 1 squared is 1 times 2 is 2 divided by 1 is 2. Let's do the next one. 2 squared is 4 times 2 would be 8, but divided by 2 is back to 4. Uh, last one, 3 squared is 9. 9 times 2 is 18, but 18 divided by 3 is there's your sequence, 2, 4, 6. So our answer is that list of numbers, 2, 4, 6. I'm going to put it in a brace, 2, 4, 6, and I'm going to circle it because that's my solution. Now look at your work, look at my work, see if we matched up. Did you get the same sequence? Because if you didn't, you should look for your mistake and try to really figure that out. That's how we learn from our mistakes. Go back and rewatch part of the video and see if it, you can kind of like figure out where you might have gone wrong could be some small mathematical error, or if it's something big, you want to catch that and try to fix it. So for example four, here's what we're going to do. We are going to find the sum of the first four terms in the sequence. This is where you just have to read the question carefully. Our job is to find the sum of the first four terms. 
So we need the four terms, but we need the sum of them. So here's the equation. A sub n equals brace n plus 1. So beginning this problem means we got to find the four terms. So we got to find a1, a2, a3, a4. That's going to be really easy to do because it's n plus 1. So we're going to do 1 plus 1, which is 2, 2 plus 1, which is 3, 3 plus 1, which is 4, and 4 plus 1 is 5. So I kind of quickly got my sequence, 2, 3, 4, 5. But to answer the question, the question was find the sum. So sum means to add. So our job is to now add up the sequence, 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. And what's 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5? Oh, I hope you got it. It's 14. So the answer to our question is 14. The sum is 14. All right, guys, that kind of wraps up our video here. Um, just a big kind of note at the end here. What you need to remember about sequences is it's just an ordered list of numbers. You just put a list of numbers in order, you can call that a sequence. So we have lots of sequences in our world. And I hope this helps, and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye.